I think I'm about my first one million. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm thinking about my first one million. Yeah, I'm thinking about my first one million. Yeah, million stacking hundreds to the ceiling. Hey, yo, yeah. boy. I'm blowing racks through the building. Let's go. I'm thinking about my first one million. We be litty in the city. Fifty like Jetty and fifty like fifty. That's what I want. Huh? Flipping the chicken like Richie. Flat. I put it up in the safe. Set. Before I go buy me a race, I'll be the one that they run up the race. I'll be the one that the haters go hate. Go to Chicago, then go. Yo, 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 yo. Welcome back to, to the Bland Conversations right here. 102.3 The Beat, the Beatsensi.com. I am your host, the Taron Bland. Got a special guest in the building today with me. My big, big homie, Ill Boy. Man, what's good, man? I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Now, really, I was gonna say from Chicago, but you ain't from Chicago. What, uh, what part of? I'm representing the whole Midwest. Uh, Midwest, yes, I'm sir. From Illinois, but I'm residing in uh, Wisconsin in Kenosha right now. Kenosha, okay, okay. Yeah. So, how, how far is that? About from Chicago? It's like 45 minutes. It's like 45 minutes away. Okay, all right. How'd, yes, uh, how'd, how'd you how'd you come up with, with the name Ill Boy? Man, you know what? I had a friend that um said he wanted to get into music, and we always play games and. Um, my name originally was supposed to be J. Cole, and I didn't like that name. Hmm. And then we kept messing around with it, and uh, Ill Boy kind of came up, and we liked it, and we just we just started running with it. Now, was this before the original J. Cole was out yeah, there? Okay, yeah, yeah. That was, that. I was supposed to be J. Cole back in 05. <laughs> it was, everybody was telling me to be J. Cole. So I was just like, man, it just don't really ring. It just don't flow. Mm-hmm. But, man. Should have been J. Cole. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah. I mean, Ill Boy works out for you. I mean, everybody got their got their own lane. So Ill Boy is is working out for you. I see you. Uh, you brought a uh, special guest with you today. Yeah, I got my homie All Day J in the building. Uh, he been uh, on the record first one million that uh, we've been having a lot of success with the radio. What's going on? Tell him to plug, plug yourself. Yeah, what's going on? It's the boy All Day J, representing the whole Midwest. It's like my man Ill Boy. Um, I do live in Illinois, Chicago area, okay. so you know, representing out there. Uh, first one, uh, first one million remix, hundred K stream. So we are pushing that. So when you, so when you first made, uh, well, let's just talk about the beginning first. First off, before we get into the first one million record, where, when did you start getting involved in music? When did you start uh, first falling in love with music? Man, you know, I was that kid that was on the playground, uh, memorizing everybody uh, verses. You know, listening to all the rap that I could. And uh, I would say 2018 came like on a more serious note where, you know, I still really started to take off and, you know, put things in perspective and, you know, rubbing shoulders with a few people. So uh, music been a part of my life though, my whole life. So. So if you wasn't, if, if you didn't say so 2018 is when you started really getting involved in yeah, music. Yeah. What were you doing? Yeah. What were you doing before that? Man, you know, I went to school, uh, living life, um, you know, those type of things. So, <laughs> Uh, had took a little um, briefing off from the music and then just to be able to come back and just be able to, to you know, do the music that I've been giving y'all, man, it's been a blessing. Now, is it now? Is it true that if you don't think you was doing music, you would you was going to try to become a, a WWE superstar? Oh, man, yeah, yeah. He was checking out my interview, man. <laughs> I was definitely going to be Stone Cold or The Rock <laughs> and – he was getting stone cold stunned by me on the way for, <laughs> on the way to school and on the way home. So, yeah, stone cold played, had a big big influence on you. You go to work, you drink beer and just stun your boss. Oh man, we used to do all that crazy stuff, <laughs> man. Backyard wrestling, man. We man, we used to have a ball. Oh man, that's crazy. You, you still keep in touch with it today, or you are you? Oh no, it's whack now. You know what I'm saying <laughs> it's whack now. I think I stopped watching it like tenth or eleventh grade, man. But uh. You know, the storylines just changed up, man. It wasn't no good. And then The Rock and Stone Cold, man, that, that stuff was epic, man, the stuff that they was doing back then. So it just it just ain't the same. It's, it's, just, different, the different, same. it's just different time, man. You know, it's cancel culture, man. They got to keep it more, like, politically correct nowadays. Oh, so. yeah, yeah. You should be a lot more raunchy. Vince McMahon used to be on that, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> doing crazy stuff. I mean, but you never know. I mean, because Chicago is a, a, is, is, is a, a skip and jump away from you. So, I mean, and, and that's one of their big towns, so. Yeah, they always uh, moving everywhere, all over the uh, all over the world, man. I know they show. starting to enter, they entertain more, like having like artists like perform and actually get in the ring. I know Bad Bunny, he was just perform- he actually wrestled at this past WrestleMania. Hey, so. hey, well, Vince, cut the check, man. You got <laughs> ill boy, you got me there, and uh, you know I might even have a, a signature move for him. Too, that's, what, that's what I'm saying. Hey, yeah. keep it, keep that dream alive. Yeah. Keep that dream alive, <laughs> man. So I know you got your first one million, first one million remix record. Yes. Now sir. when you first, now you first start. But how old is that record now? 
Uh, it's about a year. Uh, coming up on a year old. Coming up on a year old. So. So was that twenty about twenty twenty? That's when he first yeah, started. Yeah, yeah. Came out in August of uh twenty twenty. August twenty twenty, yeah. okay. He said twenty eighteen. Would you have like a like what was that the plan originally for that record to be the one that jump off or what or did people just start saying this is Man, you, you know what? With? We had uh you know, this is an original version of my album five one nine. Y'all can go stream that on all platforms. So we got an original version of it. Uh, you know, just talking to my management, talking to uh my my team around me, we thought that we could do some more marketing behind it because we felt like we had something with the original. We went ahead, added some sauce, added all day J, added Aaron Staccato, Sleepy Bag Boy, and then we just we put it back out and we've been getting a lot of uh success off of it. Now, how did those class? How did those, I'm, I'll ask you about how did those those class come about? Like when you, like when you first heard the record, like was like oh I need to get on the remix or. Did he did like did he just reach out to you say I, I want you on the remix? Like, how did that collab come about? Yeah, he reached out to me, said he wanted me on the remix. Um, I knew it was a hot song just because the hook is like so catchy, you know. Thinking mm-hmm. about my first one million, so uh, he sent it over the song, uh, recorded my verse, sent it back. I hadn't even heard uh, staccato or uh, or sleepy back boy verse. I just it was just him on the hook, and then he might have had his verse on there. Uh, I wrote it. It was real easy to write just because the beat hot. So once I sent it back. I think it was like a few weeks later he sent me the final version, put it out, and then went from there. And then I think it was maybe – I can't remember what it was, uh, but we shot a video to it uh, not too long ago. And then once we shot the video to it, that kind of helped push the streams up on it too. Yeah, I would say I, I seen the video. And it, 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 it dropped during last like during middle of uh, COVID and right, everything. Yeah, so, right. y'all, so y'all, y'all, could, y'all couldn't all get yeah. it. So. Yeah, that was, that was the big thing, trying to get Aaron out there and – I think he said y'all was on lockdown at the mm-hmm. time, and you know things are still crazy. So, you know we had to green screen him in on it, man. But I, I like the way it came out. For sure, for sure. The way it came out. How did you reach out to to, to Aaron? Like, did you have a re- relationship <clears throat> prior or met, met over social media? Well, you know, um, we was on the um, DJ uh, conference call, and we were both uh, working to get our record spent and. You know what I'm saying? We connected, we networked, and we just started staying in touch. And we had an instant connection just because he was a Midwest boy, I'm a Midwest boy. And, you know, we enjoyed what each other was doing, and we just made it happen. For sure, for sure. Yeah, I definitely, you definitely got chemistry because you, you got him uh, featured on your <coughs> on your new EP. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What you think of that record? You check out that record? Yeah. What you oh, for sure. For, for sure. sure. I, I'm thinking, I was like, man, y'all might, down the road, y'all might need to do a, like a little collab. Man, collab that's already album. in the works. That's already in the works. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Go ahead and tell the people what's the name of that EP. That's oh, out. man. Uh, hey Me Now, Love Me Later. You can go check that out. My boy Aaron Staccato, Cincinnati Zone. We got a record. It's called Hustling. Go check it out. It's hot. Now, is this just, now, is this just a, a, a taste of something bigger to come down, like, later on in 2021, or? Oh, yeah, man. We we finna keep uh, delivering these records, man, and we gonna keep uh, pushing this brand, and um, we finna kick through some doors, man, for sure. Now, I seen, uh, you just posted yesterday on your IG that uh, you signed another distribution deal with Bentley Records. Congrats yes, on, first of all, congrats on that. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Uh, how did it, how did you get in touch with Bentley Records? Did they reach out to you? Did you reach out to them? How did that collab um, go? I would say about a year ago they had reached out to me and um it took forever to get back this A and R and I just uh after he got a hold of me then he didn't get back to me. So then mm-hmm. I started having to hit him up and then, you know, like a month and some change later, he finally take a listen to the record, uh checked out my Spotify and then uh that's when the conversation started happening. Yeah, and before that, I mean obviously you you was you was independent. What made what made you wanna Go that distribution deal instead of just try to stay everything, push everything yourself. Man, I just uh, like the different things that they was offering, and um, they offer a lot more than the distro kids and the CD babies, and it was just something that I wanted to take advantage of, build some relationships with, and uh, you know what I'm saying, push my brand to a bigger audience because they had some other things to offer besides uh, what distro kid and CD baby has. So uh, we want to take advantage. Are they based out? Of, are they based out of Midwest too? Or are they? They in New York. New, New York. York. Okay. New York. I got to take a trip out there too, man. Luca, man. I hope you checking it out, Luca. I'm coming. I'm coming. Now, 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 coming up before the first one, first one million record broke and everything before that started getting again the notoriety it is. Was there any like growing pains of like, man, how long is supposed to take? Is this is this really is this really what what I'm supposed to be doing? This music this music thing. Oh, yeah, man. It's uh, always been a constant grind, a constant hustle, man. It's, it's so many things to learn about this business, and 
so many people can offer you so many different things. So it's hard trying to figure out, you know, what's going to help you push your career to the next level. So um, we definitely been trying to be strategic about our moves for sure. So who are some like just some some influences or motivation people you you look at it like man like if you if you ever feeling down or if you ever going through it just you look up to them read read something they wrote or something who's like some people who motivate you to keep going. You know, uh, I think when people listen to Ill Boy, they're definitely going to hear, like, the South in my music. So I was a uh, big influence by Master P, that whole No Limit era, that whole Cash Money era. Um, big fan of Boosie, you know, so um, I can pop them guys on and, you know, I can I can get into a whole different vibe and, you know, feeling myself. So I definitely, uh, you know, would say I rock with uh, that type of brand of music. Now, was that strategic? Like, I mean, I was – Born and raised in Midwest. Yes, sir. Was that strategic? Like, it's like, like my sound is more catered for the, the Southern style instead of trying to stay with the, I guess, the Midwest sound. Yeah, uh, but also feel like I'm a, you know, give you a bit a Midwest flavor with some uh, Southern mannerisms in my music. So definitely. Have you uh, before before everything pandemic and everything shut down? Have you been down been down south performing down south yet? Uh, we was in Atlanta right before the pandemic happened, uh, February of last year, and then the pandemic like really came down. So we was uh on tour again with the core DJs, same people we linking up with uh, tomorrow, and uh, it was a fun time, man. Going down to Atlanta was my first time. Got the network, got to meet a lot of people, so it was dope. How was the reception the first one million? Man, I got a nice uh reception, and you know what? I'm lying. I'm lying. I was going to perform the song, and I learned while I was down there that perform your best song first mm -hmm. and not try to wait towards the end. Something crazy happened where somebody got into a car accident outside, and I'm I'm rocking, I'm rocking, and I got everybody. And then all of a sudden, I see the eyes slowly go to the window, and it's a dude up under the car. And all of a sudden, you see a crowd of black people just run up. They fighting, they crying, they hollering. And then it just pretty much was a rap, and I didn't get to perform first for a million. So I was like, man, damn. They 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 taught me to uh, perform your best song right off the bat. So, but the songs song you did perform that they were they were yeah struggling with. yeah yeah I was getting some good feedback, and then it just that killed that killed my uh that killed my vibe. Yeah, that get, killed my vibe. That feel I get back down to Atlanta. Yeah. So let, let let them hear the all oh, y'all. I mean, all oh, y'all need to be down there yeah. before that too, for real. Most definitely. So what's some things that uh. During the pandemic, what's some things that you learned about yourself during those times? Man, just learning how to try to stay relevant, stand people face, uh, stay on my IG, uh, just try to be a presence on social media, trying different things, uh, just networking, doing uh, phone interviews, calling interviews, those type of things, uh, conference calls, email blasts, just you know, just trying to connect with uh, everybody because everybody was in the house. That was your, your original idea. I, I see you post like, a freestyle to one of the industry, industry songs. That's like, one of your ways, to, like just to, like to stay active, stay. Oh yeah, most definitely. We was doing some freestyles there for a while. I think we did like at least like thirty of them on IG, and it was just something to uh, give the people and also just kind of sharpen the skills with the with the with the wordplay in the, in the bar. So I had I had fun doing it. Yeah, for sure. Cause yeah, you def definitely stay active, stay active on social media, which you, which you got to. Yeah. Because you see a lot, a lot of artists nowadays, like they do a project, take four or five months off, or however long months. I mean, they they working, but people don't hear from them. Man, these indie artists have put out a single, and in two months they already got another single out, and they got less than a thousand streams. I'm like, nobody listening. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nobody listening. So. So what was the, so what was it like to think like? Cause you've been pushing first first one million for over about a, almost a year now. And yeah. I mean, so I know you dropped dropped the EP. Like who like where'd you get that mindset? It was like, I know I'm I'm still releasing new music, but we still gotta keep first first one million going. Man, uh Rob Robinson. So shout out to me and mine entertainment, uh my manager, just standing in my ear. Um, not putting out music just to put out music for the sake of it. Mm -hmm. Just uh understanding that we're trying to achieve a goal, we're trying to make a couple of dollars. And uh, it's going to take more than a couple weeks or a month to really push this record. So it's a big world. So shout out to him. You got another, what's, you got a, uh, you already got, a, think you got the next single that's on deck possibly? Oh yeah, we've been, uh, 
On Hate Me Now, Love Me Later, we got Big Head, the Dome Doctor. So shout out to all y'all Trillion T fans. Um, that's the current single right now. We got the video getting ready to come out. And uh, All Day J actually produced that beat uh, for me. And I got that record for you if, uh, you know, Okay, for sure, yeah. Rotation tonight. Yeah, we, we that, that, definitely put it, definitely <laughs> yeah. put it on. Now you producer as well. Yeah, make beats, rap, mix, all that. What it, what, what came first, producer or rapping? Producing, producing. Yeah. What made you want to jump on jump on the other side and hop on be in front of the mic? Uh, just listening to so much rap and my dad doing music, uh, rapping and producing. So I always wanted to rap, but I just happened to start producing first. And so once I kind of got the hang of making beats, I started writing rhymes, and got it going from there. Now, have you, now, now what, have you have you have you found your have you found your your, your sound yet? Like is like is he, he he the one that like you get all your beats from first, or do you collab with anybody? Oh man, I'd be getting uh, beats from a lot of different uh, people, but he just one in the uh, uh, in the tools in the toolbox that I use, and you know go check out, and he's he's got some beats that really you know fit my sound, so I rock with him. Okay. Okay. Well, so so uh, twenty twenty one horizon. They say yeah, got the hate, got the EP out right now. So what what's what's on the future? What's on the horizon what, for Ill Boy? Man, we got some uh, guest appearance for some other artists that uh, we got in the vault. We got a, a dance record. We got a record with uh, another artist in Vancouver. So man, we just we just got a lot of records, and uh, they're gonna all get their uh, time in the spotlight. And we just gonna continue to push this EP right now. And uh, push down my homie. Then uh, the next single coming. Then the next single coming. And we just gonna we just gonna keep uh, we gonna keep swinging for the fences. Vancouver, how 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 how'd you link up with artists from Vancouver? Uh, shout out to Making the Mag and my dog Kelby, Making the Mag magazine. They offer a lot of uh, opportunities for the independent artists. And uh, I'm signed up, and I get to uh, talking with her, and um, we put a beat together, and she showed me how serious she was. Cause uh, we ain't on the rights to the beat right away, and when I told her what the price was, she just came with the price. I'm like, man, mm-hmm. she she she's serious about her craft. So we grabbed the beat, we um, put something nice together, and it's in the vault. It's in the vault. Okay. It's ready already. I promise. It's ready already too. It's ready already. For sure, for sure. And, I, and I'm making making the mad because I uh, I know as you're doing the pandemic, uh, you asked me to, to set some stuff up for it. Like, how how did that collab like? How'd that collab come? Um, I I think I just uh, was watching different things on social media, and I was just started following uh, Kelby, he the uh, CEO, and you know he was just kicking a lot of free game, and you know he was saying a lot of things that made sense, and I just kept following them, uh, looking at some of the crazy opportunities that they be giving independent artists, and when I saw a lot of that, I was like, man, it's a no burner for me. I'm gonna sign up, and I've been a member ever since, and you know just taking a, a advantage of. Uh, his services and you know his platform. Sure, sure. That's what's up. That's what's up. So for any for anybody, for an up and coming indie artist, if you could give them some advice, some words of wisdom, what would you tell them? Man, be ready to spend some money, but spend it strategically. Um, push your records. Keep your uh, face in front of everybody, and uh, don't let nobody tell you what you can and can't do, man. A lot of people said I couldn't do it, man, and I'm out here one hundred two point three. The bland and uh, man, that's what's up. I appreciate you. I said we we connected last year during during the pandemic. Yeah, yeah. I said it's long long overdue. I know you said last year when this when the stuff calmed down, you was gonna come through. Yeah, and you I told you through. I was coming. I told you I was coming. For sure, appreciate it. Appreciate it. Now, is your first time in Cincy? This is my first time in Cincy. I was yeah. This is my first time in Cincy. Yeah. Uh, it definitely don't make it your last. Cause like <laughs> I, I know you. I know you just came here. Pops for the interview on that say, No, you got to show tomorrow in Indy. Yeah. So this 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 will be out after the show. So I know you gonna kill. I know you gonna kill it and everything. But yes, yeah. sir. Yes, sir. Definitely come back to the Cincy and come chop it up next time. Aaron probably hopefully be here because like it, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's funny how y'all in each other basically in each other's backyard. Yeah, man. We are gonna have to put a whole showcase together and how you come and DJ it and we gotta we gotta turn it up out here, man. We gotta turn it up. Oh, for sure. So everything everything opening. Like I said, we we starting to get anything back with like building relationships back with these venues. So we can definitely definitely make that happen for sure. That's what's up, then. I'm looking forward to doing it for sure. Now, re- now, re- now, real quick, because I we talked we talked briefly last year about like I, I got sports podcasts I do on side. 
Uh, who you like? Who you like in the NBA? I mean, it's probably easy to say Suns up two zero right now, but who you like in the NBA? You still like the Suns to go ahead and win? Man, well, you know I got to represent the Midwest. I'm hoping the Bucks will pull it out, man. So, <laughs> are you a Bucks fan? See. Yeah, we can say that. We can say I'm a Bucks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just jumped on the bandwagon. I jumped on the bandwagon. To to the heart though, like y'all, like if you new 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 season, new NBA season, who you who's your team? Who your squad? Man, I'm really a football guy. So like I said. um, I'm definitely going to root for the town, and okay. uh, hopefully they can pull one out, just like if Chicago was in any Midwest team. But I'm more I'm more of a football guy than basketball. So, so you a Packers or Bears fan? Man, Broncos all day. Oh, bro. Broncos. How you become a Broncos fan in the Midwest? Man, I don't know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I would I was I would uh, say that most times you get a team from your old man. Mm-hmm. Fortunately, I didn't have an old man growing up. And when I started getting into sports, they had John Elway, they had Terrell Davis. They was winning back-to-back Super Bowls. So I, I jumped on the bandwagon then, and I ain't never fell off. So That's fair. That's fair. Because I'm, I'm definitely not a Bengals fan. So that's, that's, <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> yeah. I, I had fair. a cat out here that I used to know, man. That dude loved the Bengals. That's <laughs> all he would talk about was the Cincinnati Bengals, man. He loved that squad. Made me feel better now. I could say because <laughs> since you're not a Packers or Bears, I'm, I'm a Vikings fan. So oh, okay, okay, damn, so, yeah. West then, <laughs> the Midwest. Yeah. Hey, you, grew, you grew up playing football too. Yeah, I uh, currently play a little semi-pro football right now. I'm at the tail end of my career, so we're gonna really uh, amp it up and you know pursue this music after this is done. So what position do you play? Anywhere on the O line, anywhere on the D line. Mine is center, man. Don't put me in center. <laughs> I, can't, I can't play center. I can't play center. But I can play anywhere else. I can play anywhere else in that line. That's what's up. That's what's up. Now, how old are you? How, how old are you? I'm 26. Man, you look younger. Than, you, play, you look younger. Than, you look younger I get that than all the time, man. <laughs> now, what you? Now, uh, I know you make make music and 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 rap. What you do? Like your in your spare time? What you like to do? Spare time, man. I'm watching movies. I'm playing PS4. Trying to get the PS5 soon. Get on Xbox, um, man. Get on Xbox. I can't. I can't go back to Xbox, Xbox. man. Cause he been saying he wants to see me and Madden. Cause he'll see me throw a little something on my story. And he be like, man, I crush him, man. I'm like, no, you won't. Y'all had a, y'all had a problem because y'all know what system gonna play on. Cause right, it, right, right. Yeah. Because if you lose, you know you got that built-in excuse, kind of. Well, you know. Right. I this ain't my system, but man, I'm. I do a lot with the music, especially with me being an artist and a producer. Um, and into the engineering as well, but I would say them the two biggest things I do in my free time: watching movies, playing video games, or just chilling with my friends. Really. What about you? Is you in your spare time? Man, you know I love watching uh, crime shows. Man, they they fascinate me. So uh, when I'm not uh, chilling with my kids, I'm definitely uh, tapping in at all these little crime shows, watching all these crazy people <laughs> carry out these crazy things in the world. What was the one thing about 2020 that you learned that you learned about yourself during the pandemic, during the whole shutdown? That I honestly like being in the house more than most people. Like, I don't, I don't want to, not to that extent where we, I can't go nowhere. Yeah. Like, cause like that's like that was just crazy, just not being able to go nowhere but the grocery store or like you know necessary places. But like, I honestly don't mind it, just because like I don't I don't necessarily need to be mm-hmm. out to do what I need to do or do what I want to do. You know, like, everybody needs to be out sometimes, but, like, I'm not the type of person where it's, like, I don't care if I get coronavirus, you know, yeah, I'm going to yeah. go out, you know, I, I that wasn't me, you know. I was like, all right, we gonna, we got to be in the house, we're going we gonna to chill in the house, then we're going to get it, yeah, we going to make it happen, you know. Just having that out. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I love being in the crib. My, <laughs> my man cave is in the basement, and I be in the basement more than Big Tigger. <laughs> so, spend a lot of time down there kicking it. Sure, sure. Appreciate once again, man. Appreciate y'all both for stopping through. Once again, tell the people where they can find you out on all social medias and everything you got coming up in the future. Uh, www.illboy.com. I got my Instagram, my YouTube, and all my channels linked to www.illboy.com. And make sure y'all sign up and subscribe and tap in with my newsletter. I got uh, the Midwest Boy Apparel popping out right now. Hit me up on IG. Uh, find out how you can get it. And just... Uh, Go stream Hate Me Now, Love Me Later, and just keep uh, tuning in with me, man. We got more records coming. We got more big features, and, um, you know, this is a big exciting time for uh, Ill Boy fans. Yeah, uh, you can go to alldayj.com, or you can find me in you, on any social media at I'm All Day J. That's I-M-A-L-L-D-A-Y-J-Y. You can find me on every streaming platform. Just search All Day J. For sure.
I'm not supposed to let y'all get out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little pop quiz. Well, y'all can answer just <laughs> it's answer to the best of y'all abilities. First thing I do or think about when I wake up. Me? Oh. He's the one y'all want to answer. Yeah, he's the one y'all want to answer. Brush my teeth and give me something to eat. It's time to eat. It's time to eat, dog. I check social media first. I'm going to be real. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be on my phone for a little bit. Then I get up, you know, brush my teeth, wash my face, then so get to it. You brush your teeth now. <laughs> <laughs> get to it. You know, I might have to work or something. If that's the case, then, you know, I get to it. But if not, then I'm probably just watching Sports Center, first take, ESPN, something like that. Now you eat. What's your go to? What's your. If you had a, a breakfast meal of your choice, what, what you what you go to? Man, some cereal. Just, you know, <laughs> just get started. What type of cereal, though, man? Yeah. Some cocoa pebbles. Some cocoa pebbles. Cocoa. Some good cocoa pebbles. <laughs> uh, hot or cold? Uh, cold. You gotta give me cold. Good looking there too. <laughs> hot or cold? Yeah. Cold. <laughs> <laughs> Burgers or tacos? Tacos. Burgers. All day. Tacos. <laughs> I eat tacos every day. I just was, if you seen my live, I just was at a place complaining about this place. They took like 25 minutes to give me four tacos. And they didn't even say <laughs> it was beef. I'm like, come on, man. I'm not take that long to make no sta- uh, no tacos. I need me a burger any day. Hey, man, you know, I came back, man, and uh, bless you with the apparel too, man. So just like we was talking, man, I got a, a Midwest boy shirt for you, man. And uh, let me turn it, check it out. Sure, that's the right one. Yeah. You say you're large. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I'm saying. Hold on. Say, say, hold on. 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 Say, hold I thought I was tripping. I seen that Gio now. I was like, hold on, hold on. Midwest guys? That's for the women apparel. That's for the women apparel. That's what that was the tip of the Hey, but, but, but ladies, he, he got stuff for y'all too, though. That, yeah, he, got, yeah, he got stuff for y'all yeah. too. Russian. Russian, man. Look at me. Look at me. If y'all, stranded on, if y'all stranded on the island for a year, can we listen to three albums? What three albums would it be? Man, I'm listening to Soldier Slam. Years later, I'm mm-hmm. listening to uh, Boosie Incarcerated, and I'm listening to uh, Life After Death, Biggie Smalls. I'm listening to The Blueprint by Hove, uh, Graduation by Kanye, okay. and Rodeo by Travis Scott. Okay. Rodeo. Okay, for sure. We got different tastes right there. That was uh, I see. I see. A whole different flavor right there. <laughs> One heavy in the South, make a quick stop to New York. Right. He's he staying. He's staying in the Midwest, taking a quick stop to Texas, down in mm-hmm. Houston. So, show. What y'all want both of y'all's lasting legacy to be on the on a music game or in life in general? Man, um, just for the people that know me from my hometown. I'm from a small hometown, and everybody know everybody, and you know, just try to be in your business. I would just say that. Uh, I'm a guy that continue to push regardless of what people said. I continue to make my own moves, and I want people to know me for my music and know that uh, I just kept pushing and I never gave up. And despite what people may have said about me, I just kept it moving. And you can do it too, man. Don't let nobody tell you, you know, what you can and can't do. They probably can't do it themselves. That's why they do it. For me, I would say I just want to make timeless music. So like, I want to make music that's hot in this era, but I want to make music that people listen to, you know, a decade from now and say it's still hot. So that's what motivates me, just trying to make the, the best music possible, but also make it so it's timeless, not just hot in this era. Oh, yeah, I need to pick it up. I, obviously, I want to make great music as well. So, I mean, we want to, <laughs> we want to put something out there for y'all to hear. My name is All Day J, and I am a... artist in every sense of the word in every sense of the word like i'm a real i'm a i'm a creator like that's what i do like i just feel like when it comes to creating like that's what i'm at my best like on a personal level and just on a music level my name is ill boy and i am a i'm an artist and uh you know i really do this and i'm really crafting and brewing and thinking and um i'm i'm, I'm everything what you think about as an artist I really work on my craft and go to the studio and, you know, be about my business. Sure, and there, there you have it. Appreciate y'all both. Appreciate you having me. Coming through Thank with you, us. brother. Thank you, man. I got to get your shirt, man. <laughs> get your shirt. Midwest girl, Midwest. Man. <laughs> Shout out to my man, Matt.
Cones Graphics, the man behind the camera. Make sure y'all give him a follow on everything Cones Graphics. Graphics is spelled G-R-A-P-H-I-X. If y'all need anything, graphic designs, uh, video, videography, photography, anything, that's the man to go, to go to. Oh, yeah, we was already talking earlier. We're going to link up and we'll get each other social media, numbers, all that good stuff. Yes, sir. This is the Bland Conversations right here at 102.3 to beat the com. For Ill Boy, All Day J, my name is D. Taren Bland. Until next time, yeah. Peace. I'm thinking about my first one million. I'm thinking about my first one million. I'm trying to stack it to the ceiling. I'm thinking about my first one million. I'm thinking about my first one million. I'm thinking about my first one million. I'm trying to stack it to the ceiling.